bubble head out and there's a few different ways to do it. You could do a regular fillet, how most fish are done, but what happens is you only get a little nugget. And that's why in the stores they call them catfish nuggets. They're only about that big, three inches. They're small and these are bullhead. They're not channel cats, so you don't get real big plays. So a way I uh, learned from these old timers um, up here in the Adirondacks to clean them is a different technique, which you just cut down to the backbone. And the tools you're gonna need are one pair of heavy pliers to hold the spine, one pair of needle nose pliers to peel the skin, and a good knife, a sharp knife, a knife. Let's try this one here today. So um, that's what you gotta do, and I'll show you the technique. This technique's gonna show you how to keep all the meat on the bones. Catfish aren't a bony fish. They have large bones, more of an ocean fish, like a sea bass. So you're gonna get almost all of the meat, if not all of it. It's a pretty all good right, technique. One thing you gotta be careful, check this out. See that spine? That thing will ruin your day. See that? This one spine here is the one barb that'll mess you up if you touch it. Get bad infections, so you do not want that going into you. So when you hold them, you always gotta be careful how you grab them. You know, usually what we'll do is we'll try to grab them like this, so that's away from your palm. Here. And then come up the belly. Just like that. Okay. You're gonna hold that spine down. Break the back. Okay, spine severed right here. And then you're gonna hold on to it with your pliers. And you'll see it tear. I want to try to get that meat with it. Okay. I'll hold it all. Let's peel one shot. That's it. So you'll have the head the skin, the fins in one hand, and you're gonna have the whole body with all the meat in the other. And you are saving almost all meat. This is the bones up here. That's it, that's how you do it, guys. And you just pull out the guts, wash it up, and this is ready to cook. All right guys, so I'm at the end of my video on how to clean the bullhead um, traditional way so you get maximum amount of meat. I appreciate you guys all watching and stay tuned. Up next, I'm gonna show how to prepare them and cook them. Um, you could do these in really different ways. So, well, look at the color on this. I mean, they are gorgeous, aren't they? Look at that. Can't wait to eat them, they're gonna be really good. Thanks for watching everybody.